Hello everybody, I'm making this a couple of weeks after Open Studio because our camera didn't work then. And just to show you and talk to you about a couple of pieces. So this one I'll be talking about my abstract pieces. And I wanted to share with you one of my older, uh, well not too old, that, that, this was about two years old, that abstract. And quickly bear with me. These, um, these are two other abstracts that I have here. This one and that one because, you know, mostly I do figurative work. So people were surprised to see me make some abstracts. Um, I've done, I'm looking for another one, uh, pieces like this one too. So with figurative, abstracted figurative. But always very organic, if you can um, appreciate the, the organic movement of my strokes. And so in June, I had some pieces that um, had been left over by some of our st studio students. And I just started playing with them with a palette knife because I had been playing with a palette knife last year with pieces like that one, where everything's palette knife except her face and a little bit of brush stroke on her boots. So you can see that's, that's all palette and knife right there and I thought she looked pretty cool. I, um, I did it again here with this angel. So that's all palette knife with the exception of her face and her hands. And then I did use a little bit of a brush for the heart too. So my aim was to continue working in, in that manner. This one is encaustic with a developed face, but that's really kind of in the direction I wanted to go. So I made this one um, also last year, 20, uh, 2014 with, um, this was not with a palette knife, but was the idea with only developing the face and the arm and everything else, just very loose. So then a few months ago, um, I started playing with a palette knife again, and I made this little piece, and I challenged myself to only use a palette knife on this one. And so when I started playing with my students' work, I started, and I'm gonna have to climb on the shelf, with these. And I worked on these for three months, which is, crazy because th this is, you know, they're not that large. But I kept going back and forth, back and forth with the palette knife until I discovered that I kind of liked it. And they looked to me like cities at night in the rain by the water. So here's the water. So as I was playing and I wasn't really sure what I was doing, some people came over and loved them and bought a couple of pieces. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So there were seven originally. And of course, it's always nice when someone, you know, likes your work and it makes you think about your process and your results. And so then I kept painting, I kept playing. Um, I made that one. I made several of these little pieces that are up there that uh, I like them because it's funny, abstract usually looks well large, but when they're small like that too, they're really intimate. And like that one up there, that's called Stairway to Heaven. Um, this is another doorway up there. This one has gold and it's um, uh, just, they have this like really precious little thing. So then I did that um, blue one, and I was invited to do some live painting at an art fair. And that's when I kind of started really getting into this because I didn't know what to do. Started playing more, and I just started making these, all with a palette knife 
only and gradually I started playing more and more sometimes using the brush playing just with what the paint does look at all that cool red coming through so a lot of layers this is oil paint by the way it's all oil on canvas so something that looks really sort of simple like that in a way you look at it and it's just gorgeous what with the paint and there's some collage there too played a little bit more with drips with forms and color I love black and pink this white cosmic cosmic meaning see it's a little eggs there it's like the cosmic egg <laughs> um, lots of nice juicy paint blobs this is um, one that I worked on uh, the Sun is, is shining too much on it but this one I worked on for a long long time and the cool thing about this piece is what it went through the process of it it's super heavy because there's so much paint on it and after I finished this one, I the next one I made was this this one over here, and I'm I, this is where I decided to document it after having done this one, which was so incredible how it went from one thing to the next. And so for this one, I did document it. It's on my my blog olivosartstudio.blogspot.com, and you'll see the changes it went through. And I just want to show you some of this up close I love this piece I'll show you some of my figurative pieces later but I really like everything that happened in this one and so then I moved on and began to make these kind of pieces that led me into this whole series that I love and it was so much fun over here and the last pieces for this year I'll show you this one too the last pieces were these which are chakra paintings and of course there are seven chakras so this is not a finished series yet and this format was born out of the fact that I really wanted to play with the orange and the olive green and Sergio was like no make a purple one and and I was unsure so I decided to try it on a smaller canvas and I tried it and I loved it and so then I did the large one and of course I did do a purple one <laughs> for circulator. So anyhow, that's, um, that's a little view of my abstracts of this year. And um, so you could see the progression from one type of abstract and how it led me into that. Thanks for watching.